United States provides food assistance to displaced in southern Philippines. The United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, is helping food insecure, uprooted families in and around Lanao del Sur, province's capital of Marawi. The 1.5 million US dollar donation will provide essential nutritional support to over 8,000 individuals and be accompanied by a program encouraging local communities to adopt the necessary protective hygiene practices to limit COVID-19's impact. The generous contribution brings the value of the relief initiatives the U.S. has committed to the greater Marawi region to over 65.1 million U.S. dollars. The United States is a shining World Leadership Award for Compassion Laureate. Our heartfelt thanks United States Agency for International Development for these caring actions during this challenging time. May Allah bless all the vulnerable people in the southern Philippines with a more shining future of peace, prosperity, and happiness. Researchers discover climate change is likely the cause of past human species extinctions. A recently published study led by Dr. Pasquale Raya, a paleontologist from Italy's University of Naples, Federico II, states that all early human species outside of Homo sapiens probably did not survive changes in the climate due to the global extremely unfavorable heating or cooling temperatures. The scientists reviewed data from 2,750 archaeological records and created climate simulations of the last 5 million years. Dr. Raya stated, Our own species is sawing the branch we're sitting on by causing climate change. I personally take this as a thunderous warning message. Our appreciation, Dr. Pasquale Raya and team, for urging humankind to take all actions possible to ensure our survival. May we quickly adopt the vegan diet and restore natural habitats to help create stable weather conditions for all beings who reside here in celestial harmony. Major catalyst technology advancement inexpensively converts waste into biodiesel and other products. Professors Karen Wilson and Adam Lee from Melbourne, Australia's RMIT University, and international co-researchers have created an extremely efficient catalyst that can produce biodiesel from used cooking oil or agricultural waste simply and affordably. Current biodiesel production methods are costly given the requirement of a highly pure starting product. By contrast, this new migrant-sized ceramic sponge catalyst can operate ultra-efficiently even if the source material contains 50% contaminants and only a large container and some heating and stirring are needed for the biodiesel manufacturing. With more development, the cheap catalyst could turn algae, used tires or organic waste into products like jet fuel. Way to go, Professors Karen Wilson and Adam Lee and team on your technological achievement. May your ongoing work help bring greater energy security and a greener, more circular economy to our world in the radiance of the providence. Scientist invents super-fast 3D camera that records light moving through air. Dr. Lee Hong Wang of the California Institute of Technology in the United States has developed a device that can capture 100 billion frames per second, fast enough to record a video of light traveling in air. The engineer has named the new innovation the Single Shot Stereo Polarimetric Compressed Ultrafast Photography, or SPCUP camera. The apparatus mimics the human eyes with two channels to provide three-dimensional video recordings. It is so quick that it can capture the polarization of light as it happens, and may allow scientists to unravel the mystery of sonoluminescence, where bubbles created in liquid by sound waves generate light as they collapse. What a remarkable achievement, Dr. Li Hong Wang! May your amazing invention lead to a deeper understanding of many mysteries of the world in which we live, in heavenly glory. 26-year-old British humanitarian adopts 14 Tanzanian youth. Letty McMaster from the UK came to Tanzania in 2013 at age 18 to volunteer at an orphanage for one month before starting university. However, seeing the dire needs of the children, she remained for three years. When the facility closed, the caring young woman adopted nine kids who would otherwise have been left homeless and later added five more youngsters in need to her family. Ms. McMaster has also founded a safe house for Iringa's homeless youth and in 2017 established Street Children Iringa as a UK registered charity. During the next five years, her plan is to help get as many children as possible off the streets. Your admirable dedication to aiding vulnerable Iringa youth is highly applauded, Letty McMaster. 
May God always protect you and the resilient young ones under your care. United States Olympic track gold medalist highlights vegan diet benefits. A member of the 4x400 meter relay gold medal winning team during the 2016 Olympics. David Verbuk says that he has more energy after becoming vegan for the animals over two years ago. Mr. Verbuk continues his rigorous training fueled by plant-based food. Tofu, kale salad, avocado on toast, and plant-based meat from Impossible Foods are among his favorites. He often enjoys oatmeal in the mornings, and before a race, he snacks on something light, like apples with peanut butter. However, after a race, he loves eating barbecue seitan, fries or oyster mushrooms. Way to go, David Verberg, on your compassionate choice to be vegan. May you continue to thrive in loving energy as you set a shining example of fitness and health while protecting our beloved animal co-inhabitants in divine splendor. Indian veterinarian has treated over 10,000 elephants. Dr. Kushal Konrad Sarma from India's Assam state has spent every weekend for the last 32 years tending to sick elephants in India and Indonesia. Dr. Sarma has saved thousands of these great beings' lives due to his dedication and in recognition has received the Padmashri Award from the Indian government in 2020, one of the highest civilian honors. Able to understand the elephant's language, the kind man has traversed over 300,000 kilometers of Assam's forests to reach pachyderms in need, including during the monsoon season. Promoting harmonious coexistence, Dr. Sarma encourages villagers to grow fruit-bearing trees as a food source for the elephants and transform vacant community lands into forests to provide habitats for the animal. A high salute, Dr. Kushal Conrad Sarma, for your selfless dedication to protecting the majestic elephants. May you and your beloved pachyderm friends have safe, long and healthy lives in heaven's love.